how to make the resist on your own and how to make it covered. I promise to tell you about how I make my own resist and how I tint it. And I will start with explanations why I use it. The reasons are few. It retains its elasticity after drying and doesn't become stiff or even wrinkle the silk. The second reason is it holds the paint well and doesn't let it bleed over the counter line. And thought I can paint it any color I want. There are some nuances, but I'll talk about it later. And eventually I can easily control the consistency. All of these were advantages, but as always there are some disadvantages. The resist contains gasoline or petrol and it has special smell and may cause reactions in allergic people. And the second reason it's fire hazard. Again, it's because of petrol. So we need to be very cautious and very careful when making the resist of our own. One more detail, I shared this recipe on my previous channel and a few people complained to me that the resist didn't work out. The only reason I see it may be the quality of rubber glue. I don't see any other reasons. So we are going to need only three ingredients. Paraffin wax. It's rather simple because it's available in drugstores or in hobby stores with uh, candle making supplies. Gasoline or petrol it's better to use purified, so it doesn't have such strong smell. And rubber glue. And it's a little bit complicated, because not everywhere is it is sold in hardware stores. And I, for example, buy it in a, in a shoe repair workshop. And as you can see, it may be quite liquid or pretty dense and bouncy. And that's why this recipe is quite relative, because we should consider the density of the rubber glue. And of course, the consistency of our resist will depend on the consistency of rubber glue. It will be much clearer in just a few moments. You can crush the paraffin wax in many ways, but I usually grind it with an old grater. Here, as in the recipe, 5 grams. All our ingredients we will put in one container. I have a small glass jar. In it I pour the paraffin. rubber glue. As you can see, it's quite liquid, but I will purposely stick to the recipe so that the result will be visible. The first time it turned out to be 14 grams, and I need to add about 10 grams. That's how I got it. I prefer to make the resist thicker, because it's easier to dilute it with gasoline than to add paraffin and rubber glue again, or wait until it evaporates. Now gasoline. It's better to use purified gasoline. The one for lighters is good enough, 20 grams. Because rubber glue is liquid, gasoline can be poured less than specified in the recipe. Store it all together in the jar. And a very important thing. In order to melt paraffin, 
we will need to heat our mixture. But in no case it can be done on an open fire. So we will first put our mixture in a pot, pour water to the level of the resist and only after that start heating. All this is better to do outside or at least in a well-ventilated room. We stir until the paraffin melts. This happens quite quickly. The water hasn't even had time to boil. While the resist is hot, it's more liquid. But I leave the jar open for a few hours so that the gasoline has evaporated and the resist becomes more dense. The next day it got thicker. And to make it colored, we need to take oil paint. But there's one more important thing to consider. Some oil paints ruin the quality of the resist pretty quickly, but it's still better to try on small amounts of resist, no matter which oil paints you use. Now we want to degrease the paint a little, so we put it on a porous paper for a while. This will absorb the excess oil. To be honest, I don't always do this, but I'm showing you how it should be. Now we need a tube for the resist. This one's already been used. I rinsed them with gasoline if I want to reuse them. I pour the resist into the tube so that there is enough for just one time. By the way, this method is suitable only for gasoline-based resist. For acrylic or water-based ones, oil paint is not suitable, just remember it. Ideally, the paint should degrease for a few hours, but I won't wait that long. And now we are storing it very thoroughly. It does take a while. You can put the cap on and steer it that way. And now we put on the metal tip, in which I always stick a pin so that the rest of the resist doesn't stick together and we can apply the resist. Uh, I don't have any stretched silk on hand, so I'll show it on a paper tissue. I really hope you manage to find the right rubber glue and have a good quality resist. In any case, I would love to hear your feedback. And again, please be careful and good luck.